Good morning, cleaning off the camera. Look, there's the knee. Still bad. Well, it's not so bad. At least it's not got a split in it anymore. Right, it's very bright here. Uh, this is just a little one minute intro. We've got a, uh, we're on a quite a big job actually. Big, big project. It's like a triple garage and uh, two workshops. One's gonna be a beekeeper's uh, workshop at the end. One's got a classic car, one's got an Aston Martin in it, and one's going to be a woodworking shop. But we pulled off because Dave, the builder, has phoned and said he's got a bathroom that needs doing today. So I've ordered last night some bits, TLC, straight on it. Harry, top man, thank you. I managed to get it yesterday rather than today, so we can go and crack on. We've got four lights to do, an extractor fan, and some kinetic switching. So we'll show you that. We'll go and get James. We'll get him a sausage. He likes a sausage, and then we're going to show you the job. Got a sausage in your mouth, James, yet? Not yet. I haven't got much for breakfast, have I? A little film on the old deal. Right. It's the first time we've seen this. So we've got to change that icon for in line, in loft. And then they got two horrible big spotlights. We get rid of those. We're going to put some V50s in. Four. One, two, three, four. I don't know what the. I don't know what they're. They're probably doing the bathroom, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. So they're going to rip all this out. What we'll do is we just because they normally put a head here, we'll leave it clear and come out here somewhere. We've got to get rid of the pull cord with the little um, dinosaur on it. Get rid of that. Put a kinetic in. Put it where they want here. Uh, we've got a lofty, so we're going to go up there. Let's go look at the board quick. Right, we've just been looking for a while. A while. Don't go in that room. For the fuse board, couldn't find it, so I went and had a look where the meter is and that. And it's, it's here, look. <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. That has not been off for a while, has it? Look, it's actually papered into the wall. Uh, <laughs> Scheisenhauser. So... When working in a bathroom, you need to make sure that the lights are on an RCD, James, look. Mm. And what are they on? 100 amp switch, yeah? So unless we cut this and move that circuit, yeah? To this side, yeah? Mm -hmm. Look, we've got a 30 milliamp type AC. Oh my God. I might put a, um, I might, I might put a, a, a spur in the loft. Might be easier. Yeah, all right, we'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll fuse down the lights in the loft, three amps for the fan, and then we'll put an RCD in the loft, because I don't really want to get involved in that, if I'm honest. Let's just leave that like that, look. <laughs> oh my God. Is that the loft light? That's a, that's a tight angle, isn't it? Yeah. That even I can reach out, James. Oh, that is beautiful. I wouldn't do that. I do. It's slip. Can you um foot it? But you got to put them glasses on. No, please. No. Right, you got that? Jesus Christ! I've already got one bad knee. Oh, they're caravanners. Look. Yeah. So where's the bathroom, mate? Oh my God! Look at this. They said this was going to be a nice one, James, on a Friday. Oh my God! Absolute. Chunt. Look, Lottie's mirror is absolutely foobard and it weren't us. So good job on getting it on camera. Someone chucked his suitcase on it. Look. Well, I've just shoved all that crap over there. We need to get over here. So I'm going to move that door out the way and then we can actually get to the lights and the fan over there. Well, look, I just thought I'd check where that is an absolutely dirty loft, mate. This is dirty, James. It's got all that horrible insulation up here. Look, look where the fan's ducted to. No wonder it's no wonder it's absolutely shit. Look. Where's ducked it out to? Fucking nowhere, look. I just rang the builder. I'm just sat on a call box contemplating life in a loft at the minute. James is just sort of mulling around. Um, if I drill these holes, then we're going to get covered in that crap, mate. It wants someone to up here to hoover it out, doesn't it? James, talking to you, not the camera. I don't know, mate. What should we do? <laughs> Go home. <laughs> right, look, I've moved all that crap now. 
out of the way. So this is what we got to work with. This is what we're working with on a Friday. Absolutely lovely. Um, we'll mark out where we're going to drill, James. Mm -hmm. We'll move this crap. We'll put a Wago box up here. Yeah. We'll mount the fan. What's that side of the wall, house? Is this terraced? It's a house. This side? I think so. Sure, there's an alleyway. So we'll get the builder, we ain't doing it, sod that. We'll get the builder to drill a hole out. We'll leave the fan up here with enough ducting to go out that way, straight out the wall, yeah? yeah. All right, let's get on with it. You can't say that sparkies don't hoover up and, and sweep up, James, look. No. Can they? So I'm gonna sweep this crap out of the way so we can drill our lights without getting covered. Move where the stuff is for the fan, find the feed. And we're going to get an RCD, put it all on an RCD up in the loft, mark the board RCD in the loft for the fan, and then get the hell out of here. Right, I found the main junction box, feeding the pull cord, that white one at the bottom. And we've taken a switch feed out of there, look, to the light in the fan. So we rip all that out and uh, start again, basically. <laughs> Don't you like them pants? No. Don't you like them pants, James? Socks in the flannel, that's fine. Yes, socks in the flannel. Yeah. Right, we just moved all this out because we know I've tried my best <clears throat> to clear out this crap above here, but it's not going to be good. I was expecting some freebies, Harry. That ain't very good. Right, look, we've got a fan, fan kit. That's the one we fit, if you want to know. Got some V50s for this because they like to select their own colour and whatnot. I normally go for the JCC uh, um, fire guards, but we went for these today. <coughs> then we got a kinetic receiver and a paddle to replace this old dinosaur leg <coughs> kettle on. Right, a little tip when you're doing a fan, <coughs> you can set this up downstairs. You ain't got to sit in the loft making this off. Make this off with some free core nerf uh, and make sure you've got some sleeve in, coloured sleeve in. And then, so whatever you use the black as, I normally use that as the permanent and the brown as the switch line. Connect it up in there, put your overrun on, five minutes, whatever. Give yourself three metres on that. There'll always be enough in the loft to clip it to where you need it. So, and I'll do the same with the Kinetic, because what we're going to do is run a switch feed, a feed, a neutral and an earth to that. That will then go to a whisker box because the fan needs the switch line, but also needs a permanent feed. And then the feed will run through a switch spur with an RCD on it with a three amp fuse, okay? Um, if it makes sense, good. If it doesn't make sense, then really shouldn't be doing it and should be calling us. Right, look. <clears throat> Grey is the blue, is neutral. Brown is the feed. Switch line out. Earth goes in, a away going or ideal. They fit inside there. That's then made up. Don't you to get back in there. Leave yourself another three metres on this cable and then it can just do most of it down sat here nicely rather than sweating your tits off in the loft. Right, we're going to go max. So we got our live and neutral, and then LT is the switch line. So live and neutral, LT is black switch line. That goes in a way you go. Tweak your time on here to suit. Uh, we're going to roughly try and get five minutes, but we might adjust that in the loft later. But that can be lidded now. Then you just take these two screws out, fix your base down, turn your orientation to the way you want it to blow or suck. Um, and fit it back in. Right, one more tip. That is replacing the fan, gonna be ducted to the fan, at the fan, out the wall. So that's all prepped and ready. I'm got to get in the loft for that yet. Don't fit this to the ceiling yet until you pull the new grill through that hole because it's much easier to put that on after. I'll show you. Get the grip, get the duct out first and then put this to the ceiling. Trust me. It's the old red, it's the old red, day. It's the old red one, James. Oh. You actually got a good camera angle this time because you haven't yeah. been very good lately, mate. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Right, let's have a little. Oh, go away. Oh. It's not too bad. I swept that bit, but look, it's, it's double board. Right, this is what I mean when I say get your duct in first and then put the grill up. Because it's much easier to do here than scrabbling around in the loft with cable ties 
And you could put insulated on this, but it's less than a meter. So it's gonna go literally up and then straight out the wall. If it was going across the house, then definitely put insulated on it because it will condense. Look, cable tie, nice. Push that up, they'll have to make good that. We'll punch them through, screw that up and then put your grilly, grilly grilly on there. Look busy. Right, we're gonna leave these lights in for the builder to take out. We'll disconnect, leave them in, because I don't want to get covered in stuff, and then we're gonna just fit our new ones. Right, four lights are done. Fan is done. This is inevitable, look, I've said about this. We're gonna clean it all up. Nick's gonna come and have a look later. Uh, but we'll get it to a standard better than it was. So we're gonna leave these in for them to take out so they can plasterboard up. Now I'm gonna go in the loft pull the little switch cable up which we filled and then make our um, bit good. What have you found, mate? Do you actually know how to use that? Oh, boy, mate. Thanks. Right, a little update for you. Look, there's our fan, fan grill. The builder's gonna come and hoover all this crap out and bag it up, so it's not gonna be filling our lights with crap. We're not here to do it. There's our kinetic we wired up. There's our fan. That's literally gonna go out there. They're gonna drill a hole straight out there, put a piece of ducting out there with a flappy grill on the outside. We got our switch line and our new feed, yeah? So we're gonna put a new a new um, RCD spur here, and then we'll put a Wago XL box here, then all this will go into it and we'll connect it up. But what I'm gonna do now, because we haven't got a Wago XL, I'm gonna connect it up outside the Wagos, and all we gotta do is click it in. Um, we're gonna just clip all these cables nicely, clip these ones across the beams here. That's old, that's gonna come out with the old light. That one over there is the old one, that will come out with the old light. And, um, Clip these nicely, show it you're working, and then we'll go off, get a couple more bits, come back and finish off. Right, here we go. It's sort of idiot proof. Look, fan, switch, spots, feed. I've left this loop here because we're going to come back, put an RCD spur with a 3 amp fuse in it to, to fuse all this down. And then I've left this like because we need to get a Wago XL box. But I'll make this off now, get it all working, show it you're all working. And then we'll obviously stick a Wago XL box on there and a, and a um, uh, RCD spur. Oh. James, can you come up in the loft, mate? Oh, he's a cheeky bugger, isn't he? I reckon you should go to um, EastEnders, mate. Your acting's on point. Yeah. yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. Should we put a, put a thing out there to say either Hollyoaks or what's another good one? EastEnders to to um to recruit James, <clears throat> please. Right, this is going to be the last update on this wiring. Right, look, feed comes in, feed goes down to the permanent feed of the fan, and the feed permanent feed down to the quinetic. Okay, and then the black comes from the quinetic, comes up here. Black goes to the switch line of the fan and the switch line of the spotlights. So when that switches, it will liven up that brown, bring the black on for the fan and bring the, the brown on for the uh, spotlights. You've got all the neutrals together and all the earths together. That will go in a Wago XL, set up here like I just told you. And uh, we're going to program the switch up now. Right, we've got the old lofty light back on, so that means it's powered up. So this will be live. It's not cut, obviously. It runs to these Wagos here. So we should be able to hold this button now. Get our blinker. Right, James. And again. There you go. So fan comes on. Light stays on permanently. Lights on. Yeah, four lights are on. Twitch him off. Then we got overrun on the fan. That'll run on the timer and go off. So that is beautiful. Obviously oh, not flickering, is there? That's quiet, isn't it? Bloody hell, it's good, isn't it? Isn't it good, James? Pretty good, isn't he? Look, four spots. Quinatic, quinatic. Should we stick him there? Stick him anywhere. God, what state mm. I look, look. Look at your back as well. Hello. There's no one in. Right. Look, I can walk upstairs. It's great. Wager box, XL box, and then I've got a Greenbrook RCD spur 
with a Type A. That's nice to see. Look, so that's on there in the loft and protect our circuit and also give us RCD protection. God, that's a sweaty old camera, mate. I'm not surprised my camera looks sweaty. I'm not surprised my camera looks sweaty. It's so hot up here. Go. Put it on. Please. Free amp fuse. Right. Trip. Be set. Come and try the switch, mate. Right, so I said that that wall there, we can drill out. That isn't, that's in the next door neighbour's loft. So the plumber or roofer is going to put a vented tile in here. Ready? Yeah. Woo, woo. Keep it on. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. It's quite nice. Yeah. It's like having a fan up here. Intelligent, quite nice, isn't they? God, they're bloody horrible. Yeah. Right, look, we're done. We're done in here. We're just gonna. We've actually done a clear up. Looks better than it was. Um, yeah, might go to another job. Might not. See ya. Fucking run away.